Good, mo good evening to all the beautiful people watching this video. Um, I come into you live early today and it's going to be a quick one because we're just going to touch base on a reminder to everybody that tomorrow is the history making People's Walk for Truth, Justice and Transparency and it starts, we gather from 8 o'clock at the top of Stanmore Avenue close to the Queen's Park Savannah and at 9 o'clock with police escort we walk to the Red House we have lots of civil society groups coming to join us some trade unions coming to join us people have expressed interest in the issues that we've raised and they've agreed that it is it is beyond ridiculous we did some research because we're being sued so we're getting ready for that because only in Trinidad and Tobago a taxpayer funded organization could sue taxpayers for having the audacity to ask them what the hell they do with our money According to the minutes of the JSC on UDICOT, on the construction sector, UDICOT in 2016 themselves admitted that $241 million as a budget was high. Was high. How did it reach half a billion dollars? This is the same UDICOT. UDICOT wants me to say that I will not have anything to say about them again. UDICOT, I cannot say that. I want you to hear me. UDICOT, you are going to have to sue me because this... This has to be an issue in the public space. This has to be a conversation that the people undertake. Uricot is the company that built Prime Minister's residence that was budgeted for 40 million and ended at 244 million, six times the cost. Uricot is the company that just renovated a cottage for 17 million dollars. Renovated a cottage for 17 million. The name of this video is What's Wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with us? What's wrong here? I was watching a television show this evening on cable. What's the problem? And, and I was watching and, and I realized that all these places that you see in America and Canada and England, all these shows, they always look functional. They always look clean. They always look possible that things get done. In Trinidad and Tobago, nothing works. Nothing works. And and trying to understand why nothing works is what got me into politics because nothing works. Nothing. I used to joke and say nothing works but the record. And then I find out there's Bob all in the record too. Nothing works in Trinidad and Tobago. And why would nothing work? We have had more money than God. We have had this country. Somebody say why you're shouting. Others say why you're cussing. Why the whole of Trinidad not shouting and cussing? I don't understand. We have had more money than God. See if it's taken, reboot and come again. We have had trillions of dollars in this tiny little postage stamp of a country. We have had more money than we were supposed to be able to use. So where is it? Why are we broken? Why are we in debt? We never had a tsunami. We never had a massive earthquake. We've had a couple of tropical storms, but that was basically heavy rain. We never had any real damage from any national disaster, natural disaster nationally. So where did our money go? The government's job, main job, is to come to the public with a plan for my term in office, our term in office, we intend to tackle these big ticket items that are in the interests of the public, that are at the forefront of public issues. And that includes crime, traffic, water, jobs, etc. And we will work with the budget that we have, which is usually an income, so our income statement, when you stand up in the parliament to read your budget, our income statement is we are going to receive X amount of million from this, X amount of million from that, X amount of million from those. And with that money, we will spend it on this, this, this. But not in Trinidad and Tobago. In Trinidad and Tobago, the ministers of finance goes to the parliament and says, we want to spend 60 billion. And we want to spend the 60 billion on this. And we have $33 billion in natural income. So we got to tax the shit out of the population to make up the rest to spend the money on this. But when you realize that 50% of the budget at the very least is money for them to steal, what they're literally doing is coming into your pockets to steal money from you to make themselves and their friends richer. Trinidad and Tobago is a corrupt criminal enterprise. Our government and 
high-class businessmen and unethical lawyers and other professionals have worked in collaboration, yes, since Eric Williams and Johnny O'Days, since Francis Privat, since Sam P. Wallace. Sam P. Wallace was an American who was charged by the Department of Justice of the United States of America for being party to the madness. We built a, we built a billion dollar racetrack in Karani that never got past the foundation and they stole everything. Trinidad Tobago is a corrupt and rotten place. The urban development company of Trinidad Tobago needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped. Don't spend another one of our dollars. Stop wherever you are. Wherever you are in the project, stop. Stop Unicot. Stop them. Fire everybody. Do an investigation, a proper forensic investigation, and from the top down, Mr. DPP, start laying charges. Start prosecuting from the top down. Unicot is a criminal enterprise. Unicot has asked me through their lawyers that me, my assigns, my agents, everybody in the Progressive Empowerment Party and everybody else we know will stop calling Unicot name. You have to be mad. The more we read, the more we learn about Unicot. The more we read, the more we learn about all the central cast of characters and the players in Unicot. And how little any justice, any law enforcement, nothing, nothing, nobody. This is a country where the people were allowed to say, Johnny O, call the heart, Ish and Steve, SIS, we just throw names. Hafiz Karamat. Hafiz Karamat and the desalination plant that we never needed is still can't get to work, it always costs us money. This is a broken and corrupt country and tomorrow all of Trinidad and Tobago should find themselves by the savannah tomorrow everybody should take a day off from work unless you are an essential worker then take yourself to work but everybody else should take a day off and come and join us by the savannah and walk with us to the red house to say listen it done it done let us begin the process plant the seed and say that's it it's done. Rowley, don't stand for me. Faris, miss me with the bullshit. Chum, hush. We're done. The relationship is over. We are ready to fire you. Unfortunately, we've had shit snakes and charlatans in the parliament for 40, 57 years. So we don't have a law that allows us to fire you now. But we can. We will write one in our first day in office as a progressive empowerment party government. We'll stick up in for that for now. Right now, Right, right now, the mission is for all of us to go to the parliament, to the Red House, to ask it Rowley, because we're serving him a letter tomorrow. And brother, you could stunt for the rest of them. You could shit kick and bag a alu with the rest of them. Keith Rowley, I am a horse of a different color. You are ready for me, you know? We are going to deal with this issue until the public of Trinidad and Tobago see you and your government for what you really are. For what you absolutely are. This is a criminal band of thieves. How did we go from $241 billion, $241 million, to repair a building that was already there, which was already too much? How did we go from there to half a billion? And I am saying this, eh? that half a billion is not the final price. When we investigate, you will find 89 million on President's House that could never be the final price. They spend more than that. This is a country where we, every time we get the Auditor General report, they said this was the bid, this was the quote, this was the accept, this was the overrun, this was the final, this was the final, final, final. We have the THA has not provided accounts for 12 years and we give them two and a half billion dollars every year. If I was the Prime Minister, not a dollar till you account for last year's. Let me start there. Not a single dollar. Let the people of Tobago account through their leadership in THA. Let them march on the THA. We cannot continue to operate a gangster's paradise and call it a country. And the people who suffering, the people, the same people suffering. The same people have no roads, no infrastructure, no water. The school system is shit. Healthcare is shit. Nothing works. You can't get proper jobs. The only thing expanding in the freaking country is amalgamated security. More and more we grow in a gangster factory, a bandit factory, 
and security guard to hit them with battle. This is insane. Singapore is half the size of Trinidad and Tobago. Their gross domestic product is 322 billion US dollars a year. We are 22 billion. We are twice their size. They don't have oil, they don't have gas, they don't have pitch lake, they don't have Tobago. So all 1.4 million of us is Majaka's big picture that we will continue to settle for this shit and listen to a handful of trolls from the PNM and the UNC scream at each other who teeth more while the rest of us and our future and our families and our children's lives hang in the balance. This has to stop. Stop it. Come out tomorrow. Just show up. Just say to yourself now, watching this video, when you share this video, say, I give enough of a shit about my country, myself, my loved ones, our future, to show up. I give a shit about water. If you give a shit about water in your taps, show up tomorrow. If you give a shit about the lack, the Chamber of Commerce published a crocus bag of nonsense about national security and crime. The Chamber of Commerce is aware Trinidad and Tobago is a crime hotspot because of, an, because of a manufactured poverty, ridiculous wages, money that makes no sense, and free flow of cocaine and cocaine dollars to Trinidad and Tobago. The Progressive Empowerment Party will bring an end to all of that. Unlike the PNM and the UNC, we are in bed with nobody. They have nobody interests that we need to keep, nobody secrets that we need to hold. We, the Progressive Empowerment Party, have the plans, the policies, and the people to fix Trinidad and Tobago. When you look at your government, the most incompetent lawyer in the country is your Attorney General. His shit snake junior is the Minister of National Security. Your Prime Minister said today to the people that he doesn't even understand what a referendum is. You have a clueless bunch of morons as your government. The laws that were written in Trinidad and Tobago in the last 20 years all have to be scrapped. We have to start this country over. Trinidad and Tobago needs to be rebooted. We need to go back to 1962. When that, that flag, when the Union Jack was lowered, the red, white, and black raised for the first time from that day go forward, a curse was breathed onto the land. We need to roll it back. We need to completely roll it back. We need to restart this country as a nation where every creed and race, every person, every single individual have the same rights and the same privileges and the same access regardless of if they're black like coal or white like ice. You want a better country. Half of y'all who thinking, boy, I go just fly out, I go just leave. You can't take nothing with you. So you're flying out to leave the one sweep yard in our next man country? Why don't you make one last chance for a better Trinidad and Tobago? I promise you this. I promise you. Nobody works at, as hard at politics as I do. I will gladly, with, one, with both hands tied behind my back, debate all, everybody. Let us put it on public display. Demonstrate a five-hour-long show. All of the people who would like to lead the country, Put them on display and let the public ask questions. And at the end of that, score them. And at the end of that, who win? Vote that into office. You need a better country. We are running out of time. If you put one of these charlatans back into office, there is no guarantee we will see 2025 whole and in one piece. If you okay with that risk, we have no money, we in debt, we owe the IDB, we owe China, we are going to be owing other people. Every budget call member has read has been a deficit budget. He's run the taxes as high as he could. He's found every single reason to take more money from you. And all of you, catch us poor people, this is for you. I may not be as black as Keith Rowley, but I promise you something. I care about all the people and he care about nobody but himself and his friends. If he cared about people in this country, they would have addressed the matters that affect the people. But they don't. The most important issue in this country right now is jobs. You need a prime minister that understands that we need jobs. We need to fix the banking sector so that your money, when you get it, holds value. We need to fix the, fix the agriculture sector. So the second biggest ticket item that you spend money on, food, that the price comes down to the floor. So that no, I nearly named them, yes? So that no corrupted business interests 
could bribe the government into not growing food. The Progressive Empowerment Party will take all of Karani land, all of Clico land, all of Petrochin land, and put them to work growing food. If while we put in food to grow, we encounter cineplexes and malls, we will bulldoze them and dump the rubble in the sea. The all food growing land will go back to growing food. It is time to reduce the prices of food in this country so people could afford it. So farming could be a proper job, career that people could get involved in. We could fix Trinidad and Tobago overnight. We could get this country functional. There are nations on planet Earth waiting, straining at the leash to come and invest here. But they don't want to invest in a corrupt Trinidad and Tobago. We need to give them open windows, open doors, clear, dank. Let the fetid air away. Let it go. Open it up. Listen. Listen, we could do nothing, you know, and let this shit continue. And we could stand up as a people. We could say to ourselves, damn it, I want a better Trinidad and Tobago. 57 years of this. If you are less than 57 years old and you live in Trinidad and Tobago, you've grown up in a shithole, in a cesspool. The fact that you're still alive means that you've dodged your number. But this country has a higher kill rate than Aleppo. And Baghdad. How is that acceptable? And bullshit talk from everybody. Bullshit talk about who thief less and who thief more and who kill more under who regime. Stop all of it. Stop it. Save us the bullshit. We want leadership. We want government. We want people who understand that the well-being of each and every citizen is the function and purpose of government and the reason they have a job. Time to end the blue light madness. Time to end the feeding frenzy. Time to end the charlatans being voted into office on skin color and hair texture. It is time the people of Trinidad and Tobago stood together, red, white, black, green, and every shade in between, and demanded real government that is answerable to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. This, this bullshit, but if you spend half a billion dollars of my money, if I ask you about it, you want to hire senior counsel and send me letters, then we go to court. Trinidad and Tobago, we are standing for you. Come and stand with us as we stand for you. Tomorrow morning, we gather by the Savannah on the top of Stanmore Avenue. Show everybody, show your boss, show your wife, show your husband, show your mother, show your father, show your children. I care about my country and I care about the future. It starts now. Be here with us. Let us write a better history. So five years from today, we could say, remember when we dodged that bullet? Rather than standing five years from today, somewhere else, looking back at the smoldering remains of what used to be the most blessed paradise on earth, Trinidad and Tobago could relive its destiny, could reclaim its destiny, and take its rightful place among the countries of this world as one of the most successful nations. That could happen. But it's not going to happen with these shit snakes and that jackass farm in government. You need a better country. And the only way that's going to happen is if you vote for it. Tomorrow, the process of that vote starts. Join us at Stanmore Avenue tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Join all of us, all of civil society, all of the groups that are coming together. Join us and add your name and your voice to say, that's it. Enough. A better country. We're going forward. Trinidad and Tobago. Until tomorrow morning. Stay safe, Trinidad and Tobago.